everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I am answering the ultimate question. Which grocery pickup is cheaper, Walmart or Aldi? So if you've been watching my grocery hauls recently, you've seen that I've been using Walmart grocery pickup for at least the past few weeks. It has been so convenient to use it with Allison in the summertime because all I have to do is place my order online, pull up to Walmart, and my grocery shopping is basically done. I don't have to spend like half an hour in the store with her trailing behind me and it's really boring for her anyway. So I've really enjoyed using Walmart's pickup. But I've had a few of you ask me, well, you usually shop at Aldi. Have you ever tried Aldi's pickup? And the answer is no, but it got me to thinking, is Aldi pickup cheaper than Walmart? Because I had always assumed that Walmart was cheaper, mainly because there's a there's no pickup fee for Walmart. So I did an experiment last week. I got on both Aldi's website and Walmart's website, and I put the exact same things on the grocery list. Now, I tried to do it the best I could because, you know, the some of the stuff that's generic at Walmart, maybe Aldi doesn't have, or maybe they have slightly different things. So I did the, the best I could, and I did pretty well, I think. Most of the stuff that was on there was pretty much the same. And my goal here was to see, okay, which one here is cheaper? Does Walmart have the cheaper price? or does Aldi. Now I also made a spreadsheet with all of the prices and the differences and I'll talk more about that later. But I wrote down a list of pros and cons of both stores just from looking at everything. And I'm going to go into like the actual video of me looking at all the prices and stuff too. But for now, let's kind of compare the two. I'm going to start with Walmart. So first of all, one good thing about Walmart is that there is no fee for pickup. Now you have to spend $35 in order to even use their pickup. But when you get to that $35 limit, it's free pickup. And I always spend more than $35 in a grocery trip, so that is no problem for me. Aldi, however, has a very different pickup system. Now, some of you are gonna have to help confirm this with me because when I went to put in my Aldi order, because it was my first pickup order, I had a free pickup fee, which was great. But Aldi itself, like the website, it didn't tell me exactly what the prices were for pickup. So I had to do some research online. Now, this website that I found said that for any orders under $35, there is a $3.99 pickup fee. And then for any order over $35, it's only $1.99, somewhere around there. If any of you use Aldi Pickup and can confirm that in the comments, please do so. Next up, let's talk about the prices of the items. Now, starting with Walmart, I've noticed that for the most part, a lot of their items are either the same price as Aldi or maybe just a little bit higher. And that's why I had gone to Aldi in the first place because a lot of their food items are just a lot cheaper. Uh, produce in particular. I don't know what it is about Aldi and their produce, but it is always so much cheaper than Walmart. That's the only complaint that I have about Walmart is just the prices of their produce at times. I have to pay a little bit extra for that. Now, Aldi, on the other hand, for pickup, Aldi actually has a slight upcharge on items. And I believe that's because they do it through Instacart. So they have to charge a little bit of a fee for that. So for example, if a can of beans is usually like 78 cents at the store, it'll be upwards of like 82 cents or something like that when you place an online pickup order. So Walmart kind of wins over that just because they don't charge a little bit extra for items just because you're doing pickup. So while Aldi might have cheaper prices in the store, it is still a little bit more expensive to do it online. Now, this is another thing that you're going to have to confirm for me because this is just based on a little bit of research that I've done. But Walmart bags everything for you. They give you all the bags and they don't charge you for the bags. Like I've never seen that on my receipt or anything. Aldi, now you typically bring in your own bags when you do your own shopping, but Aldi actually bags everything for you in their paper bags. And from what I understand, they actually do charge you for the bags, however much it is, what, like 10 cents, 15 cents per bag. I don't know that for sure. So again, 
post in the comments if that is a thing. Another thing I'm going to compare is substitutions. Now I can't say much for Aldi pickup, but I have done Aldi delivery before, so I know kind of how that process works. Now for Walmart, if they are out of whatever it is that you order, they will substitute it for something else usually, and they won't charge you any extra for it. So for example, the week before I had bought a package of deli meat. It was like a nine ounce container. Well, they were out of the nine ounce so they up they uh, got me the 16 ounce container instead but I still paid the same price as the nine ounce so sometimes when you get a substitution from Walmart it can be in your favor and the one thing about like when they um, go shopping for your order and everything they don't like message you directly or anything like that if there's a substitution the app will send you a notification and say hey this item needs to be substituted are you okay with this substitution and you click like yes or no and that's basically it now with Aldi at least with the delivery but I heard this is also true with the pickup you have a personal shopper who goes in and uh, buys, you know, puts all this stuff in the cart. And if something is not available, they will message you through the app or whatever and say, hey, they're out of this. What do you want instead? And if I remember correctly from Aldi, I think it was frozen blueberries that I wanted. So they were out of the regular, but he asked me about the organic ones instead. So he got those instead for me. So I ended up paying more for the organic ones. They didn't do like a free, like up up sale or whatever you call it. So I still had to pay the extra for that. So I think Walmart wins in that regard as far as substitution. And lastly, variety of items. Walmart is obviously a bigger store, so they're going to have a lot more wider variety of both brands and different types of items that they sell. Aldi is actually getting there. They have a lot of really good variety, but there are just some things that I have to get elsewhere. Things like whole wheat flour. Aldi doesn't really have that at my store, maybe sometimes, but there are just a lot of things that I need to go to a different store to get instead. So as far as a one-stop shopping place, Walmart wins on that one too. Now, like I said in the beginning, I took a little like screenshot video of me going through all the items, both on the Aldi checkout page and the Walmart page. I started to compare a lot of the prices between the two lists. So let's go into that and I will give you my opinion on which store won. So as far as I know, I have done my best to buy the same exact items from both Walmart and Aldi. I did the great value brand where I could, but, but if they didn't have that particular item, I just did the name brand. So a couple of things that I noticed, as you can see, here's Walmart on here. Um, we can compare a few different prices here. So we have the Great Value Sugar-Free French Vanilla Coffee Creamer. That's $2.68 for there. And then coming over to Aldi, you can see here is, this is the hazelnut coffee creamer, but still same size. It is $2.75, which is, you know, a little bit more expensive. But like I had said earlier at Aldi, when you do the pickup, it uh, gives you higher prices when you do pick up by like a few cents. So it could be actually 268 in the store, but because we're doing online, it is 275. Another thing to look at is the butter right here. It is 428. And then over at Aldi, you can see it is 395, which means that Aldi wins by just a little bit. So a lot of this seems to be mostly the same price. Uh, I can't tell a huge difference between Walmart and Aldi. One thing that did surprise me though was the eggs. So you can see here, I bought two dozen eggs from Walmart. So they are 202 for a dozen eggs, which they went down in price a little bit in my area actually. So when we look over at Aldi, we can see, I know they were a higher price, two, $2.25. So no, not $2.25, $2.75 for eggs. So Walmart definitely wins on that one, which is insane. 
Okay, so I would like to say that Walmart produce is uh, more expensive than Aldi because Aldi typically has some of the cheapest produce. Um, what I have found though is that it's not always the case when you're doing the pickup. So romaine lettuce hearts, a three pack at Walmart is currently $2.98. At Aldi, with the little price increase, it is $3.19 right here. So it is a little bit more expensive. Strawberries, I think Walmart is a little bit more expensive. It was like $2.24 or something at Walmart. And then Aldi, it's maybe a few cents cheaper. By just a few cents though. Okay, so let's get into the total price. You've probably seen it when I've been going back and forth here, but Walmart's estimated total is $82.63. And that can change depending on the weight of some of the things that I buy. For example, the bananas, they weigh them for, you know, they weigh them. So it's just kind of an estimated total. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. And Walmart has free pickup, um, you have to spend $35 um, in order to do the pickup, but when you reach that threshold, you can do the pickup and it's free. Aldi, however, now I am getting a special deal right now, I guess, because this is my first time doing Aldi pickup. I get it for free. Um, so $86.48 for Aldi. So there is a four ish dollar difference, Aldi is actually more expensive right now. Now, however, I did say the pickup was free. This also means that afterward there will be a fee. So at the moment, I'm going to say that Walmart, Walmart's got to be the winner right now. I mean, it's not the hugest of price differences. It's maybe four or six dollars. And it also all depends on what you buy. However, I think I'm going to go with Walmart on this one. So a five-ish dollar difference between Walmart and Aldi. That's really not much of a difference, but if you're really trying to pinch pennies, that five dollars can make a lot of difference. Now, it really sounds like I am bad talking Aldi. I really am not. I love Aldi. I love their cottage cheese, first of all, like nothing beats their cottage cheese. They have super low prices, but as far as their pickup and delivery goes, you pay a little extra for it. So in that regard, I think Walmart wins overall for pickup. And again, like I said in the beginning, I created a spreadsheet of all the items that I had bought at Walmart, and then I put the same exact items on my Aldi list as well. So the spreadsheet has a list of all the items and then the price at Walmart, the price at Aldi, and then like the price difference between the two. And that is just on a Google spreadsheet. I'm going to leave the link below. Anybody can click on it and take a look just to see the price differences. Now, obviously prices in your area may vary. I live in Ohio, so prices could be higher or lower. Now, leave me a comment and tell me, I know a lot of you have said this before already, but which do you prefer for the pickup? Do you like Walmart better? Do you like Aldi better? Do you like another store better? And I wanna know why. Hopefully this has given you a little bit more information and hopefully inspired you to try pickup at some point. This has saved my sanity for sure. As always, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when more of these videos come out, as well as my other grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later. Did you know I offer one-on-one -on -one nutrition coaching? Whether your goal is to lose weight, eat healthier, or just want to know how to get started, I can help. You can schedule a free weight loss discovery call by using the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to chat with you.